Aloha y'all, welcome back to Peach Treasures. I just had a stressful day at work and I'm ready to do some thrift retail therapy. So come along with me to St. Vincent's and Thrift Giants, see what I pick up to flip for a profit or to keep. If you like this style of video, please give us a thumbs up and comment some things that you thought were interesting. It really helps us out because we are trying to get to a thousand subscribers at the end of the year. So here's another episode of List It or Leave It and I hope you enjoy. Look at this Urban Outfitters vase that was in a random basket. I did not expect to see it there. With my discount, it's $3, so I picked it up. It doesn't go for a lot, but I think I could get about $15 on it. Originally, it was $20. And this was an interesting little plush here, and I knew Matthew would like it. It almost looks handmade, but it was $0.83. Cents. And I used Google Lens, and this is what I found. It didn't have a particular brand, so Google Lens is just super helpful. And we are gonna list it between 15 and 20 as well. And this was a vintage Dakin Dream Pet. I absolutely love Dream Pets, and one of my favorite little things to collect are like mid-century looking, you know, fawns or baby deers. And this one's called Flecka Fawn, and I think it's so cute. Unfortunately, I can't collect every plush, so we're gonna list it. And here are some solds from Dream Pets. Looks like they don't go for as much as I would like it to go for, but I think if this one is photographed right, it might sell for what we want. Super cute though. This is a cool tablecloth I picked up. It's very our vibe for $2.49 after the discount. And this is a Kool-Aid cup that's vintage. I wanted to keep it because I collect stuff like that for 41 cents. And here's a Kurt Adler Burt ornament. I got it for 69 cents because Christmas was not on sale. And it looks like it sold on Target.com for $9.99. So doesn't go for much, but we're gonna list it. And look at this cute little red wear squirrel. Had to pick that up for 41 cents. I think we'll sell it at the booth. Crew of Tux on a poop emoji pillow. I have so many questions. <laughs> Trying to go fast, I found a lot of items here. These are a dime a dozen, so many Shrek glasses, but I thought I would look it up because they're just very nostalgic. And I left it because take a look at the solds. Just not worth it. And we have way too many glasses to put in the antique booth. And it looks like if you have a lot of them, it sells better. Like there's a set of five for 20. This is a Goatinger little hot sauce bottle holder thing that I got for 83 cents. I just thought it was neat. And here's the whole set. Looks like it's a condiment service set. And I wish I would have found the whole thing. Haven't listed it yet. It's very niche and it's the only one I have. And since it's kind of weird, I like it. Like, who buys a silver-plated thing for their hot sauce? <laughs> Anyways, I'm not judging. Here is a Trapper Keeper game. And I know Trapper Keepers go for a lot because, you know, vintage 90s. But it was missing a lot, so I didn't get it. So she did. What did she do? Okay, here is Thrift Giant Items now. This was 95 cents, and it's Wedgwood. And it turns out the blue elephant pattern sells for a lot. Look at these things, $39. Now, mine's just a little saucer, so I don't expect to get this money. But for 95 cents, I thought I would pick it up. Now here's a style of mug to look out for. This was 95 cents. It is Took Two, and I believe it's from Canada. I have sold one in the past, which were Canadian Mounties, and this just sold for $17 plus 21 shipping because it went to Canada. And I love these mugs. I think they're cool. Here is a California Pottery Platter. It was really big, so I ended up not getting it because I didn't see any suitable comps. It's a nice piece though. And this is from Melissa and Doug, and it's an ice cream set, and I knew that it sells well. And it has the four ice creams in there, so I got it for $2. And let's take a look at some eBay solds. As you can see, there is a wide variety of different play sets involving ice cream from Melissa and Doug. And I noticed when I was looking up that people even buy it for spare parts, like these little ice cream scoops. And here's a really cute bottle made by Silvestri, and I'm kicking myself because when I got home, I realized that I left this at the bottom of my cart. It's not worth much, but man, it reminded me of Art Deco or Art Nouveau. 
Now here's something that sold pretty quickly. This is a Woody from Toy Story little pumpkin push-in by Jimmy. And it sold for $18.96 plus shipping. Now here is another Halloween related item by Gons. They are these Halloween window clings. I got all of these for 95 cents each. There's a ghost, there's a jack-o'-lantern, there's a Dracula, there's a witch. And I put free shipping on them and one sold for $18. So I still think that's a great deal because we got multiple of them. Now I didn't get this book because it doesn't go for a lot, but isn't it cute? I just love the artwork. It's called Mouse is a Mess. Now some vintage children's book like this do go for a lot of money, so you just gotta look it up. And these we actually sold very quickly too. These are called Spin Shades, and I believe they were popular in the 90s because this one is from 94. What happens is you put them on a little light bulb, you know, one of those little night lights, and the heat spins them around. And as you can see, it goes for a lot of money. And we have found similar ones before, but never Halloween. And ours sold for $18 plus shipping. And we decided to lot them together because they were so small. And I think that's the way to go with these. So, let's move on. This is a rubber duck. Can't be missed. And I think it's so cool. They have different styles, as you can see from this box. Lots of different ones to collect. I believe they're from the early 2000s. Like this one is a nurse one. We have a little bobber. And it was only 95 cents. And it didn't take long until it sold for $14 plus shipping. We are back at St. Vincent's, my favorite spot, and I found all of this vintage melamine from Texas wear. Now, I've picked up Texas wear in the past, but in my experience, the things that sell best are items that have a special object, like we have these Christmas geese, and I'm the kind of person that wants to get the whole set, so I just left it for someone else to treasure. And here's an artist that me and my brother really like. Let me know in the comments if you've ever heard of Edward Gorey. Thought it was really cool for $1.49. It sold pretty quickly for $15 plus shipping. And here's one of those old fashioned peanut butter jars. I just love that they used to make stuff like this. I got it for 41 cents after the discount and it's probably gonna go in my booth. And here is a teddy bear from Dakin 1985. And it had this little patch on the back and I looked up sold and as you can see, it's not a high profit item. And since we have so much plush, I decided to leave it, but I think it's really cute. Perhaps it's just too standard, very classic teddy bear. Now here's an interesting plush. It is a vintage Squeezum and this one is Leonard the Lion. As I look at the tag, I can see it has a bunch of different characters, which is always promising because maybe someone wants a particular one. This is from 1987, so I had high hopes for this, but I ended up putting it back, mainly because mine did not work. As you can see, this one went for $5. There are some that go for a lot of money, like 38 is great. This one went for $55. So make sure you look it up and be aware that these exist, and I wish mine would have worked. Now this item was so cute and interesting to me. I thought it was just a figurine and it had no markings, but I got it for $3. I just had to put it in my cart. I used Google Lens to try and find it and here's what I came up with. And it looks like it's from a line of figurines and it's missing the bottom. <laughs> See, they are missing their little pants. I don't know if it's a votive holder or a trinket dish. I'm leaning on the side of trinket dish. And this was a little glass owl. It turns out it's from Bath and Body Works. I got it for 83 cents and it's actually really pretty when you put a candle in it. This is one of those ash sculptures from Mount St. Helens. Love finding stuff like this. I barely find it in thrift stores. And the next item is this little witch that I bought for 83 cents. It's just one of those cute little trinket boxes. Very cute and tiny. This was a glass ornament. Isn't it cute, that little poncho he's wearing? 41 cents and it actually sold really quickly for $14 plus shipping. I really liked this canvas painting and it was huge and only $1.49. However, it did have this little spot where it got punctured, but the interesting thing is it was signed on the back, I believe by the artist, 
but I could not figure out who the artist was and I just decided to pass. You know, sometimes I don't feel like picking up art. Now, St. Vincent's doesn't have a lot of media, unfortunately, but I did find this Vintage Train Songs VHS. There's little Tuffy the Train. <laughs> this is from 1995, and I picked it up because I saw something on Terra Peak, and I just thought I'd take a crack at it. Why not? These were two cute little salt cellars that I got really cheaply, and they were hand-painted. They look like they could be little ice cream dishes for mice. <laughs> Here are some fabric books, or you know, you can make your own little fabric book. I have a few in my classroom and the kids like looking through them, but they don't sell for much. So I decided to pass because I'm not a seamstress. I do not sew. And I thought this was really cool, a predict pin It's just one of those novelty products from the container store. I got it for 83 cents and I believe I just brought it to my classroom. Not for a million dollars, if you're lucky. Anyways, here is a Heather Goldmine ornament. I had never heard of her before, so I decided to look it up. As you can see, this part was broken right there, so I passed anyways. However, I found another Heather Goldmine piece, and both of them share the company Blue Sky. So I decided just to research it for other purposes, you know, in case I come across items that weren't broken. And it looks like some of the things go for some good money. And they're really cute. Looks like they have a lot of seasonal items and just cute decor. Like those trees for 40 bucks is a pretty good deal. And I really like this pig. Also, my favorite piece that I saw was this little crab. I decided to look this up. It's called Willie the Boxer and it's a popular little juice glass line that Hazel Atlas made. Thanks, Google Lens. <laughs> and uh, here are some solds. I mean, six for $85 is a great deal. And I decided just to pick it up because it was only 41 cents. And look, it can go for about 16. This was a singular piece of Majolica made in Portugal for 83 cents. I did not buy it though because it had a lot of wear to it. I believe if I would have found the whole set, I would have picked it up. And they're actually quite common, but look out for pieces like this. That platter went for $35. Uh, this was a Robert Maxwell piece, and I've heard of him before. And it was also signed, and it's for the Fort Worth Art Museum. And this clock I thought was neat. For $3, I left it though, because it was very cheap looking. I believe it was missing a utensil, and it was just very thin plastic. However, I think it's cool. And here are some solds. That one's much nicer, and it sold for $20. And here's one in box, so you never know, $3. Surrender the booty. Just had to show that. Anyways, this glass vase was really cool, or perhaps it's crystal, and it's from Mikasa. I just thought it looked interesting, and I'm getting into crystal and glass, and I was wondering if it was Costa Boda. But it doesn't sell for much, I mean, this one was in the box and it sold for 30 or less than that. Now this is a Mary Inglebright cake pedestal. For $4, I had to get it. It was missing one little charm, but here are some solds which made me want to get it. All of them sold for around 100 or more, and ours ended up actually selling really quickly for $108 plus 29 shipping. So even though it was missing a charm, Someone is enjoying it now. Now I thought long and hard about these Yoda lights. They were $4 and they were put in the box horribly. And I just, I don't know. I love Yoda and the solds are okay, but I decided to not get it. But let's take a look. These ones went for $22.99, but they're different. These ones were the same, but they just look way nicer for 21 bucks. And this one sold for 20. I'm kind of glad I passed. Here's a little fish dish. It also reminds me of an ashtray made in Japan. It was 95 cents. I got it because I love that style and I think I want to put it in our booth. Now here is a pair of Gail Pittman mugs. She made things for Southern Living. I believe it was $2.99 for the pair of them. I decided to pass because we have talked about Gail Pittman a lot on this channel, but I think we've picked up a little bit too many of her pieces. <laughs> Here is a little Spooner Creek design pottery, little hanging, and I got it. I think it's so cute. And I was wondering if these were roly-poly glasses 
by Dorothy Thorpe. However, these were bigger than what I've seen at other stores, like vintage stores. So I don't know, y'all let me know in the comments if you think they're Dorothy Thorpe roly-poly glasses. But they were only a dollar each though. But as you can see, this set, so for 12 for 20, and this one was 40 bucks for eight, but they look a little squattier to me. Anyways, I thought it was worth looking up, and the more you do so, the more you learn. And this is a little Boston strainer, I believe, for 65 cents, and I do a lot of bartending or home bartending. I decided to pick it up, and I really liked this kettle, this electric kettle, but it was ceramic for $12.91. I decided to pass because it looks like it's not worth much. Brand new in box for $19.99, so no meat on the bone there. Now this was super heavy and I believed it was Sirocco and it's one of those mid-century really ornate clocks. Looks like the hands were okay. However, this kind of stuff is very fragile. They had about $16, I don't know, it was hard to read that tag and it did have some repairs. I decided to pass. Now I decided to film this once we got it home and cleaned up. But I bought this really cheaply. I believe it was about $8. It is handmade and it's glass. And I just think it's so pretty. I don't know what this style of lamp is called. So if you know, let me know in the comments. But I don't know what I want to do with it. I kind of want to keep it. But that might be beautiful to stage in our antique booth. However, I just want a bigger antique booth. But that's another story for another different day. I got Matthew new prizes. <laughs> These are my prizes today. <laughs> 83 cents. Y'all look at this little red wear, little squirrel. Yes, it did take me on. See, look at our eclectic taste. We have a squirrel, red wear, by the way. This, which I love, this is Wedgwood. It's probably worth about 25 bucks. I'm not kidding. We got these little revolving little shade lamps, lampshades. We got some fake ice cream. That is a bolo. We got a Canadian geese mug from Tuck Two. And we have a pass the pickle. Like WTF. Oh, and a rubber ducky. Oh, and a Godinger silver hot sauce cage. Wow, that got a little chaotic towards the end. I get so hyper when I bring home a thrift haul to show Matthew. Thank you so much for watching this video. I have a few more drafts I am working on because I've been taking a few months of a thrifting break just to start the year off with a little bit less. But nonetheless, I have a few more thrift alongs coming up through the pipeline as soon as I can get them edited. Let me know if you like thrift alongs because I like showing you where I find things and how I look things up. And you know, it's just fun for me and I hope it's fun for you. So please subscribe if you haven't and keep digging for treasure because you won't find it if you don't look. Bye everybody.